Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, tutorial on how to use uh, Zabber Crate Maker. In this video I will show you how to download Zabber Crate Maker and how to um, use it. So if you, uh, when you press the download button on either SK Unity or Spigot, you should see uh, a GitHub page that looks something like this. The version number might be wrong, changes and fixes are probably going to be different, but it should look something like this. Um, if you scroll, now, when you go to this version, you want to scroll down until you see the assets and you see the source code zip. You're going to want to download this. I've already downloaded it here, so I'm not going to download it again, but you're going to want to download it. Then, uh, I'm going to assume you're using Minehunt. If you're not, these steps are going to be a little different, but it should be pretty much the same. You're going to want to go to your plugins, script, and then scripts folder. You want to drag the zip in right here. And then, uh, for me, I just right click and unzip. Now you can delete this folder. And uh, let's rename this to something a little shorter. Uh, this name's quite long. So let's rename this to like just crates. So now we go in game and we do SK reload crates. It'll take it just a second because it's reloading quite a lot. There we go. So now that crates are reloaded. You want to go to slash. Or okay, actually, first we're going to go to the configuration. So you go to here. And we, so we go in this folder and we go to our config and now there's two configurations here. There is the main config and there is the language file. First, you're going to want to go to the main config. And you can see there are a few options here. We can change the prefix, the, the GUI name. This GUI name is actually for the main slash crates menu. So if you do slash crates, this is where, um, all our crates are going to show up. You can you can decide whether or not you want them to show up here, but you can still configure this menu. So let's let's name this to like, um, say your server's uh, let's just say server name, crates, right? Then the size of the GUI. Let's actually change the size to five, and then we can actually change the fill item. If we don't want a fill item, we can set it to air. But I'm actually going to set it to. Um, Blue stained glass, and let's just not give it a name. So the, the name will be blank. This is the preview. So basically, when you right click a crate, this is going to be the preview GUI. Um, so preview and crate, let's say, um, let's actually name it to server name crate preview. Let's do the same thing. Let's do black or blue stained glass the fill item. Uh, I don't recommend changing the preview size. I recommend keeping that at 6. Uh, preview reward. This is the lore that will be underneath each of the items showing its chance. So we can actually change this to like, I don't know, let's change it to like a blue, a blue, uh, more blue theme here. And then this is the back button. This back button will only show up in the main GUI. Oh, I accidentally saved. Uh, this back button will not appear in the, um, like, on actual crates. Um, it'll just appear in the main slash crates menu. And uh, we'll just say, we'll just say back button. Let's rename this to back button. Now let's save. And then I ask SK reload. Don't reload the whole thing. Just reload this uh, config here. It'll take much, much less time. So now we go to crates. And as you can see, server name crates. Uh, we got our blue stained glass here. My hut's being slightly laggy. But uh, now let's create a crate. So to create a crate, you do crates, create, and then our, their name. I recommend capitalizing it, as it'll make your life a little bit easier. So let's re let's name this crate to uh, test, actually. Let's te the test crate. So once we have a test crate, it'll say, you have created a new crate. Name test. You can edit the crate, and you can delete the crate. So for now, obviously, we want to edit the crate. Um, so this should open this GUI. Now, this GUI allows you to customize literally everything about the crate. Uh, you can customize the crate key, uh, like the physical crate key. There are two types of crate keys. There's the physical crate key, and there's the virtual crate key. 
Uh, the virtual crate key is like a virtual currency um, that that you can only use in the main slash crates GUI. And a physical crate key is a crate key you use to right click on a crate to open it. So let's edit the crate key. Um, you can edit the item here. We're not, we don't really need to do that. But you can edit the item. So basically just hold an item in your hand and then click this. You can also um, edit the name. Uh, so we can edit the name to like test, test crate key. Now the name of the crate key. You can see there's a preview up here. Test crate key. And let's change the lore to like right click the test crate to open oh to open so now you can see here right click the test crate to open now we can return to the previous menu as you can see all those updates saved now gui customization this is the customization of the item that will appear in this gui here the slash crates gui so we can edit we can click this we can decide whether or not it'll show up we're gonna enable this. Um, you can disable it if you want, but I I, I, I think it should be on. Um, you can change the item. We're not gonna change the item for now. Uh, you can change the name. Let's change the name to like uh, test crate. Uh, so that'll work. We'll keep the floor the same as it's quite long. Actually, no, no, no. We'll change it to um, you have keys, keys. To have multiple lines to your lore, as it says there, you just split it by two of these. And then we can say, uh, uh, left click to open. And then we can say, right click to preview. Here you can see here, left click to open, right click to preview. Uh, 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 once again, there is like a, this preview item here. Um, and then the slot. Let's change the slot to uh, 10. This is the slot in which it will appear in the main UI. So now if we do crates, you can see here, we have this test crate item. We can now obviously left click to try to open. We have no keys though, so it will not open. And we can right click. The right click will open all the items. As you can see, in just right now, we have this example item. And you can see we have the configured um, lore there with the chance. And we also have this, uh, the configured everything here. Everything here is configured as you configured it in the config.yml, or the config.sk, sorry. So now let's say you wanted to, you know, add items to this crate key. Well, it's really, really simple. Let's say you wanted to add an iron helmet. Well, that's super simple. You just go to iron. Obviously, you grab your iron helmet. Uh, you, if you want this iron helmet to be like a custom iron helmet, you are going to have to do that yourself. Like with some sort of like rename, you know, you just rename the item to like special iron helmet or whatever. You are going to have to do that yourself. So now, crates, add item, the name of your crate, so test, the type that you're adding. For now, we will add the item type. Uh, I'll show you the command type in just a second. And then you want to specify your chance. You can see if you just like enter on the command without putting everything in, it'll tell you how to use it. So it's a crate, crate add item, crate, we specified that already. Um, the type item or command we're going to use item for now and then the chance so let's say the chance is i don't know 10 percent so now we have added a iron helmet to the test crate you can see here we have an iron helmet with a chance of 10 percent because this chance is one percent uh you're about 10 times more likely to get this iron helmet than this example item um now let's say you made a mistake and you want to remove this iron helmet you just added well that's simple you just crates edit um test you go to this, and uh, you delete it. It's that simple. Um, you can do this the same with the example item. So let's add this back. You can then go to this example item and uh, just delete it. And now you will only have this uh, iron helmet in the crate. Uh, now that we have that, let's add a um, let's add a command. So let's say we want a piece of paper. Uh, you can rename this piece of paper to however you want it, obviously. And then we want to add item, but this time we're going to specify a command. We'll keep the chance at 10%. But then let's say that we want this item to eco give p. p refers to, or you can also use player. 
this refers to the player's name, and this command will be run by console. So give player, and let's say $10,000. So as you can see, it shows you the commands that it will run. It says you added a piece of paper. Um, now if we right click, as you can see, there is now a piece of paper in the crate. Um, so now that you have that, uh, we do crates here, and actually we don't have any crates. So to give someone a crate, you can do crates, give, and I, and we can just press enter here, and it will tell us the uses. So crates give Zabrid, that's my name. The name of the crate, test. Now the type. The type can either be virtual or physical. A physical crate is the literal crate key that you can hold and right click a crate with. A virtual key is the key that you use inside of the uh, crates GUI. So we're going to for now give a virtual key and let's specify the amount at uh, 1000. So if we now have 1000 crates and that should give us enough to mess around with. So if we open, it'll see, it'll give me an iron helmet. Then if we open a few more times, uh, it will give me $10,000. Now it does use the name of the item as the, uh, like in the reward message. Which, the reward message, by the way, is configurable uh, right here. You can configure all these messages right here. Not that many messages, but these are all the messages that are shown to the user. Uh, all the messages that are shown to the user are configurable. Um, oops, I opened GitHub. Um, but this reward variable here in this message is just the name of the item. So, uh, you're... If you want this to say something cool, uh, just rename the item to what you want it to say. Um, and now let's say we wanted to add 10, we wanted to add some iron helmets too. Some iron helmets that ran a command, right? Uh, you can also see, oh, I'm done. You can also see what commands these items are running in the GUI. You can see that these uh, the commands right now is just eco give player ten thousand. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna remove these. Um, so that is pretty uh, sick. And uh, then uh, we have the physical keys. So we're going to give myself a physical key here. So remember to change the uh, virtual to physical. I don't have room for a thousand. We'll give myself ten. So now we have ten test crate keys. As you can see, the name is exactly as we configured in the crates edit GUI. Now let's say we wanted to place this crate down. We would just place an item down here, or a, a block down, and then just do crates, set crate, and then the name. So test, right? So now we can. You need to be uh, holding a test crate key. You can click and preview. As you can see, the back button is gone now that we're not in the main GUI. Um, to break this item, you need to um, just shift and break it. Uh, so set crate test. You can see we can open the crate. And then if you want an item or if you want the crate to be, um, to be the main crate's GUI, you just simply set the crate name as a asterisk. And then when we click this, it will open the main slash crates GUI. Same way to break it. We just obviously just break it. Um, and yeah, that's about it. If you encounter any bugs, just, uh, you know, join the support discord. Uh, we are happy. We, this like script is being actively maintained. So uh, any bugs will be fixed. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.